I found some entry, entry level work from home jobs as in no experience is needed. And you know, the pace not too shabby either. Oh, and one more thing, I'm assuming they're going to train you in these positions. They're not going to just throw you to the wolves. They want you to be able to do the job their way. Remember, you're coming in with no experience. So let's jump into these jobs. The first job I have is with Dexcom. They're looking for a customer advocacy generalist level one. This is a full-time remote position anywhere within the United States, and they're going to pay anywhere from $18.26 up to $30.48 per hour. So in this role, you'll act as the primary notification and consolidation point for receiving, processing, analyzing, and reporting product complaints. You'll develop and update company complaint and inspection procedures to ensure capture and investigation of complaints, maintain and analyze problem logs to identify and report recurring issues to quality assurance management and product development. You'll document and track contact information, reported issues and problems in accordance with company guidelines and external regulatory requirements, and you may collaborate with other internal groups to respond to product inquiries and issues. You may also directly answer the hotline in written or internal based inquiries regarding company products. So all that means is you'll review and evaluate complaints per standard operating procedures and analyze adverse incident factors under supervision. You may assist in determining if events must be reported to regulatory authorities and document and maintain records of all complaint investigations in accordance with domestic and worldwide international regulations. You'll contribute to the development and implementation of procedures that ensure quality standards are met, support projects that further the implementation and efficiency of the department, support internal, external, and third-party audits, and perform routine complaint system data entry, documentation, and administrative tasks. Oh, and here's something I just noticed. They want you to be able to work flexible hours, including evenings, holidays, and weekends, and overtime may be required. So you need to be able to demonstrate a primary commitment to patient safety and product quality by maintaining compliance to the quality policy and all other documented quality processes and procedures, and you're able to work in an environment with multiple short-term deadlines, frequent interruptions, and changing priorities. So to qualify for this job, they want you to have zero to two years related experience, preferably in medical device, post-market product surveillance complaint handling, or equivalent combination of education and experience. So this is key, zero to two years related experience. So if you don't have any experience, don't worry about it too much, as long as you're comfortable using a computer and you're familiar with Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. And they tell us it's desirable you have knowledge of and experience in the field of diabetes and CGM technology. And that's just desirable. That's not required. But if you do have knowledge and experience of diabetes, you'll definitely stand out and stand a better chance of getting this job. And here's something I really don't understand. They want you to have certification of engineering quality discipline. I'm really not sure what they mean by that. So if you're okay with all that, remember this job pays between $18.26 and $30.48 per hour. You can find the direct link in the description area below this video. Just look for job number one. Birch Gold Group, they have an opening for an IRA assistant. It's a full-time remote position in the United States and they're gonna pay 20 to $25 per hour. And you don't need any experience in this position. All you need is to be a good communicator, you're dependable, you're able to prioritize and plan your work activities, you can foster quality focus in others, you can also improve processes, measure key outcomes, and set clear quality requirements. You're able to adapt to new technologies, you're comfortable working in a remote environment, and you have no problem asking for help when needed, you can take independent action and calculated risks. In this job, you'll develop IRA rate sheets and prepare transfers, distributions, rollovers, conversions, death claims, and closures in accordance with government regulations and bank policies. You'll also maintain retirement records and you'll be responsible for current and proper financial statements and reports. So in other words, you'll receive and process IRA work received through various channels, including U.S. mail, fax, and in support of brokers. Perform follow-up actions on transactions submitted through the brokers with the objective of completing the appropriate transactions and properly document actions taken. You'll also communicate with customers via phone or email if required to verify instructions or confirm transactions and review all work items for accuracy and compliance with department guidelines and IRS rules and regulations. And you can demonstrate the understanding of the systems and training documentation supporting IRA transactions. So yeah, reading that last statement, it sounds like they're going to provide you with all the training documentation you need for this job. So the rest of this job lead, they just talk a little bit more about the transaction and document processing you're going to be doing on a regular basis. 
Basically, you'll process IRA account changes, review and process requests for IRA beneficiary changes, and complete transaction laws as per department guidelines. And you'll receive, prepare, audit, or distribute IRA documents. And you may be asked to follow up on outstanding requests. And you may also be asked to order duplicate 1099Rs and 5498 reports for customers. So this sounds like a pretty simple full-time, no experience needed remote job that pays $20 to $25 per hour. And they also include your typical suite of benefits in this position. If this one sounds good to you, you can find the direct link below. This is job number two. The third no experience entry level job is with Freedom Mortgage. They're looking for a licensing specialist. This is a full-time remote position in the United States. And I'm gonna scroll down here to see if they tell us how much they pay. And I don't see it anywhere on this job lead, so I turn to their profile on Glassdoor. And even though they don't have the salary listed for that exact position, they do have some similar roles. They show the median salary for a scheduling coordinator is about $20 per hour, a compliance specialist $25 per hour, Here's another scheduler salary that goes for about $21 per hour. So you can see these jobs are not the same, but they are kind of similar as far as administrative work. So I'm thinking for the job I'm sharing today, you might make about $20 per hour, but there's no way I can guarantee that's how much you'll make. You'll have to work that out with them when negotiating your salary. So going back to the job lead, you'll be responsible for the licensing applications and tracking. And this position addresses issues as they arise and conduct independent research and solve problems. So you'll track individual licenses, track education requirements, and complete and file all applications and renewals that are assigned to you. You'll also address all deficiencies or inquiries from state regulators, answer questions related to foregoing, and address questions directly from business units and supervisors. You'll also make recommendations as to answers and solutions and assist others in the department during overflow, so you need to be able to maintain regular and punctual attendance. They'd like you to have an associate's degree or equivalent from a two-year college or technical school or six months to one year of related experience and or training or equivalent combination of education and experience. So as long as you have an associate's degree, you don't need any related experience for this job, but you need to be able to read and interpret documents such as safety rules, operating and maintenance instructions, and procedure manuals. And you're able to write routine reports and correspondence. You're also able to speak effectively before groups of customers or employees of the organization. And of course, you need basic math skills. You're a problem solver and you're able to interpret a variety of instructions in written, oral, diagram, or schedule form. So this job has the potential to pay about $20 per hour. If it sounds good to you, you can find the direct link in the description area below this video. This is job number three. So the fourth job I have is with Allegiance. They are part of the larger Cigna company. They have an opening for a health customer service representative. This is a full-time remote position in the United States and they're gonna pay $20 per hour. And I'm not really sure what they mean by this. I think they're telling us this job was posted October 3rd, 2024, and the application window closes November 2nd, 2024. That's just a few days away. So if this job interests you, make sure to get your application in right away. So in addition to $20 an hour, they offer a full benefit package and you don't need any experience. They will train you in this job. However, they are giving priority to applicants who live in the Pacific, Mountain, and Central time zones. And you get evenings, weekends, and holidays off. So what are you gonna do in this job? You'll be answering telephone inquiries from plan participants, client contacts, and providers regarding self-funded and partially self-funded group health benefits and or the fully insured product. You'll also be responsible for claims payment research and assist as requested to help the team succeed. So in answering phone calls, you'll be providing clear and accurate responses to requests for information and document all calls into the Chronolog system. You'll also return messages left in designated voice mailboxes, read and interpret plan documents for numerous clients, review new documents and amendments as added, log fax claims, return misdirected claims, Assist members with the website, assist with claim information research and identification. You'll also assist with provider record maintenance as assigned, index claim and correspondence badges, assist with employee training and cross-training as needed, and research and write-up refunds as assigned. And I found this interesting. They tell us you'll meet personally with clients as necessary to assist with questions pertaining to their health benefit plan. Now, I'm not sure if that really applies to you. I think you can do all that over the phone, but if you want clarification, make sure to ask them during your interview process. So to qualify for this job, at minimum, you need a high school diploma or a GED, college degree and or training in medical terminology is preferred. 
So you don't need a college degree and you don't need to know medical terminology, but I will put a link in the description area below this video where you can learn medical terminology because if you have that skill, you'll definitely stand out and stand a better chance of getting this job. And upon hire, you'll complete an ICSA customer service certification provided through the company. And you also need basic computer and customer service skills. You need to be a good communicator and you're comfortable using a computer. You're familiar with Windows, Word, and Adobe Acrobat, and you must be able to adapt to software changes as they occur, and you can type at least 45 words per minute. You have excellent listening skills, basic math skills. You have a high level of interpersonal skills to work effectively with others. You're organized. You're able to read, analyze, and interpret benefit summary plan descriptions, insurance documents, and regulations. And you're also able to project a professional image and positive attitude in any work environment. You can comply with privacy and confidentiality standards. You're flexible. You can work well under pressure and meet deadlines. You're analytical, a problem solver, you can operate typical office equipment, and you have a working knowledge of general office procedures. So this is job number four. You don't need any experience. They will train you, and they're going to pay $20 per hour. If you like this one, you can find the direct link in the description below. This is job number four. Alrighty, four work from home jobs, no experience needed. Hopefully one of them works out for you. But if you're looking for something doing data entry document processing, check out this video right here. And as always, thank you so, so much for visiting and I'll meet you on the next job lead.